So we've been playing this game called Inside, right? It's a pretty short game, so we've been playing it, both of us. Mm -hmm. And what I, before what I heard, you have a different opinion than I. I really like the game. Okay. Like, I like it like the first, let's say, two hours, I mm -hmm. liked it. Mm -hmm. Then a little bit started to, to get bored a little bit. Okay. And at just right that time, it changed more interesting. So I interesting. really liked it more even than interesting let's say the game is about three hours yeah so it, it's about three hours and i think the the most important thing to know about the game is that it's a very short experience mm -hmm. but it's usually listed among the top 10 best short games okay. that, that you can find i mean that's how i found it mm -hmm. i wanted something like really able to play in a in a day or over a weekend and so this seemed really intriguing, and so we both played it. Mm -hmm. I had almost the exact opposite experience as okay. you, that the first two hours, I played for two uh -huh. hours one night, and then stopped, and was absolutely fascinated, loved it, convinced mm -hmm. my wife to try playing it, she enjoyed it. Then I came back later and did the final hour, mm -hmm. and it actually flipped my opinion of it. Okay. And it's going to be very difficult to explain why without spoiling the ending. Mm -hmm. But I think I can do it. So, okay, try. Why? First, I, I want to know why did you start losing interest after two hours, and like what got you back in at that point? Well, I guess because I played the first one, which was called Limbo. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be like same uh, length of the play, about two hours. Mm -hmm. So when I was getting to the two hours, I thought it should end any time. And it's kind of same from now, like there's you no, know, there was a lot like uh, moments that you would say, wow, it was done like this way. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it anywhere else right. in the game, but then it would be the same like, uh, same wow things, but like for a little bit, uh, took more time to get the logical things done. Right. So it started feeling like it was stalling. Yeah, it was bit. like yeah. stalling a little bit for okay. getting more gameplay. Okay. Time. And then what what changed that at one point for the last yeah. the last hour? Well, without giving one, too much away. Okay. There's one point that changed like the gameplay totally. Mm -hmm. And I really like that and I found it funny. It seems like you take it more seriously, but I think it like it's a game. Right. And I really didn't give it a much thought as like if okay. there's something else behind the game right i thought like i if think it's a boy we don't know if it's a boy or anything else or if it's an android or, or if, if it's, it's an android we don't know it's, like, it's true or why everybody is chasing him or if it's just like coincidence that he's there but this but this is it and i think for me i started the game with a completely different interest in it because mm -hmm. uh i don't like side scrollers Okay. I don't like platformers. I'm mm -hmm. not a big fan of adventure puzzle games. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I, I I'm sensitive to graphics. I want the graphics to be as good as possible. So mm -hmm. I don't go for many retro games. So everything told me that this would probably not really grab my interest. But mm -hmm. from the very first moment, it really pulled me in. And I love that there's like no introduction screen. It's I like just that like, too. Yeah. like you start the game and go. Yeah. You are being chased. You have to get out of the forest. You don't know why. You don't know what's happening. You just get thrown into the water and yeah. try to swim. This this yeah. was amazing. And I mean, even for me, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but often when I'm playing video games, uh -huh. I play while watching a movie or YouTube oh, yeah. or something at the same time. I can um, do that. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm giving more attention to one thing or the other, uh -huh. but it's, it's just a way for me to relax. Okay. But this game, from the very first second, I thought, no, we're going to turn off the TV show. <laughs> this deserves my full attention because the story is so immersive and the atmosphere is so immersive. But that's the key. What pulled me in, despite the fact that it's not my type of game, is that I had so many questions and I wanted answers. Mm -hmm. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I, without giving it away, mm -hmm. you don't get answers to most of those answers. questions. Or, uh, let's say you don't get any answers. Well, you get the, some like more development of the, the story. The questions get deeper. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. But this this also annoys me with books 
that pull me in uh -huh. with, with a question of like a mysterious atmosphere mm -hmm. or character. And books also, I'm pulled towards the conclusion to know the answer. Mm -hmm. And this did not deliver. It yeah. got more and more mysterious and then it just ended. It usually the creators do it like an open ending, so mm -hmm. if the game is really like the hit, so they can do a sequel. Mm -hmm. But I already played like so many games, so I know that some games just end like with no explanation at right. all, and right. that's how it's like done mm -hmm. on purpose. Mm -hmm. I and think this is the case. Yeah, and I, I feel like it's it's a, I understand the creative choice, but it's a little bit of a shame because there's a lot of things going on with the atmosphere of the game that they could talk about mm -hmm. that could say something about society or the future or a post-apocalyptic mm -hmm. world or genetic engineering or uh, all of these things mm -hmm. that I was very intrigued by and it doesn't deliver on that. So I would say the ending really turned me against the game and where you, so then, okay. where you found it to get funny <laughs> I, More interesting I, and funny. I yeah. found it to get gross. Okay. Well, maybe let's talk about the feeling about the actual gameplay because mm -hmm. we, we play sure. as a boy. Sure. And for me, I like uh, sympathize with the boy and I yeah. want to run from them. Yeah. And absolutely. I feel like they want to catch me. Mm -hmm. So they are the big guys and the good guy, definitely. So when the things turn as they turn, I, I can give a payback to them. Mm -hmm. I will gladly. Uh, true. Was it different for you? No, it's it's true. I felt that also, but also I kind of felt like I had become the monster that I was running from. Okay, but if you get the power, yeah, you should use it. Yeah, yeah. Because it was, otherwise, you always run. It was very satisfying to be able so to turn the tables. Okay, we can agree. On yeah, there, I don't know if you if you. So why should, why would you not uh, recommend it to other ones? Because for me. I would recommend it to others because I play so many games mm. and this one game there are so many moments that are like new for me. So this is really something like it's, new content. It's true and I think it it means more coming from you who have played more of this type of game to yeah. say that it's that it's unique mm -hmm. and it's true. I can really fully recommend the world building and the experience that you have being pulled into this world. Mm -hmm. It's very immersive and it's very intriguing. Um, I think, I, again, going back to, to what I said about how it ended, this is not generally my type of game. And the only thing that really fascinated me about it mm -hmm. was that I wanted to see where it was going with the story and the world that it had created. And so the fact that that kind of fell flat then left me with a a side scroller puzzle game. Mm -hmm. Even though you're right, like those questions and the atmosphere that you go through mm -hmm. um, still seems very unique and is, is worth playing. I would say it's worth playing, um, but I would say there's a lot of there is missed potential, and still, even after a couple of years of it coming out. It's it's still usually priced at about twenty euros or twenty dollars for three hours. Uh, I wouldn't say it's worth that. Okay. So what, what, do you, what do you think? Is it worth is it, is it well, worth twenty euros? Uh, probably half the price. Okay, it's worth that's, it. Yeah, that's because fair. it's long, longer than the first one, the mm -hmm. Lego. And I would even say like there are let's say two thirds of the game and three three thirds of the game mm -hmm. and the two thirds are like uh, normal mm -hmm. and the one third is like crazy and I wouldn't mind if the uh, first one was just normal and the two ones were crazy okay. because I like the crazy part so you wanted more. you wanted more crazy yeah. so I would uh, definitely I would uh, say that everybody should play it like everybody who likes uh, adventure games mm -hmm. And Definitely. The puzzles are very clever. Yeah. Maybe if I you agree. are too like if you don't have, if you don't like horror because this is could be like that kind of a horror. The other yeah. thing I wanted to say, I don't like. If you horror are too games. scared to play games yes. like that, don't play. That I don't play horror games, and there are moments yeah. when this gets pretty. Yeah, we could say like pretty intense. Pretty yeah, intense. yeah. It comes to the, to the line of horror. Yeah. Um, but it, all, many of those things that I usually don't like, it makes the side scroller uh, very enjoyable. The puzzles were very logical but challenging. 
the horror element was more intriguing than frightening. Mm -hmm. um, the con gameplay, the combat is pretty good. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm talking myself mm -hmm. into being more positive than I mm -hmm. than I plan to be. Um, I, I think that it could have been it could have been much better, and I wish they had ended it better. But it's worth playing. Okay. Well, I don't think it's too. We say it's like a logical adventure mm -hmm. like, with the logical elements, but I think like it's normal adventure. There's mm -hmm. not too much logical elements. Elements like you have to always solve something, mm -hmm. but the solving problems are never too difficult. I would say I, I so never, it's more of an adventure. I never felt completely stuck. That's true. So now you know what each of us liked and disliked about Inside from Playdead Studios. Tell us which of us you agree with more. Have you played it? Are you going to play Inside? Tell us in the comments what your experience was like. And we'll see you with another game. See you next time.